Hi everyone, today we are going to learn something new. What is a Raspberry Pi? Hello everyone. Today inshallah we are going to learn about a new technology that we are going to use uh, in our science fair projects. Uh, today we are going to introduce to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi basically is a microcomputer or a microprocessor. And this microprocessor has huge and magnificent uses and applications that you can utilize in your science fair projects. Today we are going to show you some uh, specific examples about the projects that you can uh, create using the Raspberry Pi with other uh, new technologies. The Raspberry Pi basically, as you can see, it's a very small board. And this is a microcomputer, a microprocessor. So this is a small computer that you can program, you can use, you can utilize, creating lots of projects. Uh, this Raspberry Pi is the Raspberry Pi B, which is an old model. Uh, in our project, we are using the B+, plus, which is the new model. Um, the Raspberry Pi, as you can see, it has USB ports, it has an Ethernet port, it has an audio port, it has um, a GPOI or its uh, general purposes input and output um, port, which is here. It has a slot for a Raspberry Pi camera or any kind of sensor that you are going to use. Uh, the difference between the Raspberry Pi B Plus and B is only the number of ports and the speed of the processor itself. So, this is the structure of the Raspberry Pi here. These are the USB ports. This is the Ethernet port. This is the stereo audio and video. This is the HDMI port for the HDMI cable in order to connect your Raspberry Pi with your TV or any kind of HD uh, monitor. This is a 5 volt micro USB. This is the CSI camera connector, this port. This is the DSI display connector. This is the micro SD slot and 40 pen GPIO or general purposes input output header and this is the main processor of the Raspberry Pi and this is the RAM or be the BCM uh, uh, 512 megabyte RAM which is this black part with this project our project basically is called the Raspberry Pi Book Reader and the Raspberry Pi Book Reader as you can see it is a combination of Raspberry Pi and Brick Pi which is made by Dexter Industries. The Brick Pi basically is the brain of the robot. Uh, if we can get an NXT brain, can you get me a, an EV3 brain or NXT brain please? This is the EV3 brain which is the brain of uh, the new generation of robots made by LEGO Education. Inside this brain there is a, a certain board, we call it Brick Pi. Dexter Industries uh, created or manufactured um, a very simple board that is performing um, as a brain so you can connect your motors to certain ports A, B and C and you can connect some sensors to one, two, three and four ports. So one, some ports for motors and some ports for the sensors. Um, if we had a closer look on the brick pie, the brick pie looks like that. It has four sensor ports, this one and this one and this one and this one here. And it has uh, this is four sensor ports and it has a 9 volt uh, power connection so you can use a 9 volt battery and you can have also USB power for the Raspberry Pi 
M3 motor ports. You can use EV3 or NXT motors. Our book reader uses Python language. So the main mission of our book reader, which is here, it's a Raspberry Pi B plus connected to a brick Pi. And the brick Pi is connected to two servo motors, EV3 servo motors. The Raspberry Pi is connected to a Raspberry Pi camera, which is a high resolution camera. The main mission of the Raspberry Pi reader is to take images of book pages, then translates it or converts it into images. And then this image is going to be taken or converted to text. And the text is going to be read by a certain sound or a certain voice. So let's try reading this simple page using our book reader. So let's open a terminal here. And let's print python bookreader2.py. And let's hit enter. The picture has been taken. It takes time for the OCR, uh, the recognition engine, to translate the page into a text and then from a text to a sound. Overcome obstacles and the unbomometer turned into one confident tile. One why reach their end and fulfill their objective. One arena, our brave students are given the opportunity to one challenge themselves to excel each in his own field of inc according to his mastered skills. We all comprehend that. The different intelligences and learning styles and of course interests. Therefore, when students have the chance for their multiple skills at school, all will be successful in. So the, the first two.